Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. It's time for another monthly tour of my classroom. This month our theme is favorite authors and it was super fun putting it together. So let me show you around. This month in our sensory bin, I just put out some little pot of gold containers from the Dollar Tree and some little coins also from the Dollar Tree. And then I dyed the rice I ordered some wooden scoops, but they haven't yet come in. I'll be adding those to the bin when they come in. At the Writing Center, we just have a capital letter matchup. I got this from Learning with Miss Langley. And for my younger ones, I also have Alphabet Sort by Color. Also by Learning with Miss Langley. To add some gross motor this month, I just added these little stepping stones. These are made by Antsy Pants. This month for the dramatic playeria, I needed the science tables. So I just made a little switch this month and I put the slide over here so that I could use the science table over in my dramatic play area. So that's just gonna stay there this month. I photocopied some pictures of some of my favorite books so that I could decorate the classroom a little bit for our theme. Now I have a No David puzzle and a Chicka Chicka Boom Boom puzzle. I also have this learning resource cookie number game. So what I do is I put out one bowl of the cookies and one bowl with numbers, and they can match these numbers to these numbers. They can also count the little colored chocolate chips to practice their one-to-one -one correspondence. On this shelf, I just put out some different puzzles. I love this bright colored one made by Janad and this is also a really great one because it has all the same picture but in different sizes and i also put out a map of canada puzzle i've had this toy forever and it's a fantastic patterning toy you can use it in lots of different ways you can either match all the same pictures or you can make an, a simple AB pattern with them. You can see these are old. I've had them since my youngest was three years old. So they've been well used, but I love this toy. I think it's a fantastic. I also have a number wooden bowling set. So this is super cute, just has all the numbers. And again, they can practice counting for one-to-one -one correspondence and they can use the ball to try to knock them down. Over here, I put out a peep the cat and again I photocopied a picture of Lama Lama and then I have Pigeon sitting over here. And I put out some of the Lakeshore learning locks. I don't put the whole set out because I find my age group isn't really ready for the entire set. I also try to pick letters that are the same for both upper and lower case so that it's a little bit easier for them to make the match. Here I have a little nesting doll set and each of the layers have a different skill so here's a zipper and then inside the zipper inside the zipper there's a button to do and inside the button there is some velcro and in here there's some snaps and the last thing is a lace my kids are not ready for the laces but they should have fun with the rest of them I wanted to practice up these skills as much as possible to get them more prepared for kindergarten in the fall. I also took out some gears. And then I took out this Melissa and Doug maze. I just set out Pinkalicious. This month we'll be reading a lot of our favorite books and so I have them placed out on our bookshelf. A couple more pictures of some books up on the wall to decorate. Over in our block center, in this basket, I just put some jungle Lego. I really like that this set has a lot of different interesting pieces. There's a rainbow and a vine and some water with crocodiles and some cards and you can build with some flowers. I really like this set. And then here, I wanted to keep it super simple, but we'll be reading Iggy Peck Architect. And so I wanted to put some different items that the children could be creative making some different 
designs in the block center. So I put out this triangle set and I also put out this set. These are chalkboard blocks. And so they can draw things like windows or doors. And then I just added some chalk in there. Over on our magnet board, I just set up a hot cold sort. This magnet set is made by Learning Resources. I think it's really good practice to always have the children see that hot is red and blue is cold. And this just gives them practice sorting in a different way. This month in the dramatic play area, we have set up a grocery store. And so I tried to label as much as I could to put some more environmental print in. So we have a shopping cart here and we have some flyers and a scale cash register. I got this idea off of play to learn preschool and I thought this was very clever to the little conveyor belt on with just some black paper. And then for our grocery store, I just added a mix of toys and recycling to make the grocery store. Here in this box, I have some shopping bags for the children to be able to go shopping with. And again, I just put some pictures up on the wall. I kept this container of salad and then I just laminated some different ripped up pieces of paper to resemble lettuce. I tried to make this section things that you would find in a refrigerator and freezer and then here I have some meat, snacks, some bread and the children can use the tongs to place it in a bag, some fruit and some vegetables. One of my kids' favorite stores is Foodland, and so I'm anxious to see if he recognizes the sign on Monday. If you've watched other videos of mine, you've probably noticed that I normally have my home living area set up over here, but I moved it to this side for this month so that we could accommodate for the grocery store. So over here, we just have the little kitchen set up. And I kept it super simple because the children will be shopping and bringing a lot of these items over to this side. I made and laminated a little shopping list so the children can make their own shopping list. And I'll add a little dry erase marker here for them. And then over here, we have our babies. And I added a couple pairs of glasses. I put some different wallets. This is great fine motor skills right here to open this. And I have a wallet, some ties, some money. Over on this side, I have some purses to go shopping, some cute hats, a tie, a dress shirt, some work boots. I had these out last month, but the children literally wore them every single day. So I'm gonna keep them out this month and and I added this new pair that I got at a sale. So if you ever want to leave a message, you can hop on over to my Instagram called Playing With A Purpose. I hope you enjoyed this month's tour. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.
What did you do? We forgot the juice. You forgot to buy your juice? Oh, okay. That'll be two dollars, please. Two dollars. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Okay. Here's your juice. Thank you. 